In her first city council meeting, Mayor Lori Lightfoot took on and indicted Alderman Ed Burke. Today, she tangled with an executive of the Fraternal Order of Police. CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely was there for Lightfoot's latest verbal duel. Mayors don't usually debate with citizens during public comments at city council, but Lori Lightfoot did. What you fail to do, Mayor, is you fail to take and ask the FOP for our input. Anytime that the FOP wants to do anything other than obstruct and object to reform, I'd be more than willing to meet with you. Well. However, no mayoral sparring today with Alderman Ed Burke, who spoke only to praise New Corporation Council Mark Flessner, noting that Flessner holds a divinity degree. Clearly, he will add some spirituality to the Department of Law, uh, and uh, that'll be for the good. But two speakers during public comment called for Burke to get out. We're asking you for your immediate resignation for the good of the public. You've held office long enough. Burke didn't bat an eye in his first council meeting since his indictment. But in light of the Burke federal extortion and shakedown charges, Lightfoot introduced ethics reforms. Residents in the city want a city government that is fully accountable, that is transparent, and is responsive to the needs of the voters. Lightfoot wants to give Inspector General Joe Ferguson the power to audit city council committees and ban aldermen from outside jobs that pose a potential conflict of interest. What's more, the alderman who replaced FBI mold Danny Solis, who wore a wire to record Burke and others, now wants all 25th Ward permits and licenses issued under Solis to be reviewed. We need to make sure that we, we clear, clear guidelines for everyone to obey by the rules, that we all have consistency, and that we, we start addressing the issue of pay to play. However, Mayor Lightfoot is rejecting one reform suggestion. IG Joe Ferguson wanted to strip aldermen of their so-called menu money. That's the one million dollars or so that each alderman receives to spend on ward projects as they wish. But now Lightfoot says that's a perk that aldermen deserve to keep. Brad and Erica, Mayor Lightfoot might not want to tangle on that issue at the same time she's trying to restrict aldermanic privilege. Yeah, fireworks again at City Hall and in City Council Chambers. I have a question for you about that in a moment, but first, take a look at this bit. He's a great journalist, you know, with a lot of integrity, and I just know that members of the City Council wish him well. Thank you, Madam President. And that is a standing ovation for our Derek Blakely after he announced after 40 years of being in the game, watching history, recounting history, he is now going to step down and leave us in just a couple weeks. And there's a picture of you today. And Derek, one of the biggest honors I think ever bestowed upon you, you probably didn't even know, it's when our uh, beloved former colleague, uh, now deceased, Mike Parker, was having his going away party. I was there when the boss said, Mike, who do you want to, to say a few words about you? And he didn't hesitate, and he said, Derek Blakely. Yeah, that was a great honor. Mike, a great reporter and a great CBS2 veteran. Uh, and I did not expect uh, what I received <laughs> at city council today. Mayor Lightfoot had some nice things to say as well. Uh, it, it's nice to know that your work has been recognized. I'm not really mm -hmm. comfortable making news. I prefer to report it. <laughs> but uh, it was a nice uh, tribute and an unexpected one. You have had an incredible career. Deserve every bit of the praise and applause today. Definitely, Derek. Thanks very much to you both. Okay. Still be around for a couple of weeks. Yes, now. we still right. get Don't you bury for a me yet. And okay. then I get your Rolodex. All right, moving on. <laughs>